Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Pisces November 22, 2022. The sun in your sign harmonizes with Jupiter today, and you're giving off good vibes. You could find yourself in pleasant demand. It's an excellent time for building bridges or boosting current relationships. You feel free to express yourself or enjoy exploring hobbies and other forms of expressive recreation. Hobbies and recreational pastimes can be in stronger focus and particularly satisfying or rewarding. You're inclined to focus on renewal and creative refreshment. Rewarding feedback can be forthcoming. You're nevertheless a little retiring with the moon in your solar 12th house all day. It's a good idea to get extra rest, build strength, and take a break from demanding or competitive situations. One of the most magnificent periods of the year is upon you. In fact, this could be one of the winning moments of your entire life. This is because our great luminary, the powerful sun, is spinning in the late degrees of your solar first house of identity your zodiac sign and dances magnificently with glorious Jupiter in your solar fifth house of true love, romance, and fertility. Prepare for abundant joy and bliss everywhere you go. Plan something sweet and memorable to do with your one and only something that you tell your grandchildren years later that will make them believe in love. Reinvent yourself. Since you are ruled by Pluto, you are no stranger to stark and empowering transformations. However, today's transformation might be more gentle than expected when the sun in your sign trines Jupiter retrograde in Pisces. As the watery trine supports your professional identity, the transit may also encourage you to step into your professional self-expression. Slipping into a more creative and inspired light within your professional role may come easily since self-expression is intuitive. Allow yourself to experiment and grow as a professional during this artistic transit. As the moon makes its first visit to an intuitive and imaginative part of your chart since Mars retrograde turn in your financial sector, their friendly aspect today will do more than just fuel your financial confidence, instincts and imagination. This is not the first time that the moon and Mars have come together but it is the first that can help put the past into perspective. Your sixth sense may feel like it's on strike today. You may need to take the day to recharge your batteries, something you don't do nearly enough of. I suggest taking yourself to the floor. You need the assurance of good solid ground beneath you, holding you up and taking in all your weight. Doing yoga or just doing some nice long stretches in your own home will ease your body and give you the sustenance you so often go without. It's recommended to eat something hearty today. The essence of this vibration focuses in on your close relationships. You're bound to be dedicated to the pursuit of financial success and status. However, interpersonal relationships that are very special to you need to be cared for, as well. If you've been neglecting this area of your life, today would be an excellent time to strengthen your bonds. See about making a visit or give someone a reminder that you're thinking of them. Be sure that there's someone with whom you can share success. The last full day of your birthday month could be one of the best, with the sun spending his last full day in Scorpio at a friendly aspect to Jupiter, in his final days in retrograde motion in a fun, playful, romantic and creatively charged part of your chart. This is shining the solar spotlight on the doors still open to the past and second chances while giving you the confidence to not just look to the future with confidence but with total trust in what your heart is telling you. A friendly aspect between the Sun and Jupiter, in his final days in retrograde motion in your romantic sector peaks during the last full day of your birthday month. At the same time that this allows you to move into your new solar year with a renewed sense of romantic confidence this is also making it easier to make the most of the doors open to the past and second chances on the romantic front. Our eyes in the sky. Now that the moon has settled into Libra, we could be feeling a bit detached emotionally but also calm and collected as it aspects Mars and Saturn. This isn't likely to be a day in which you're eager to have social interactions or deep conversations. You will be using your time wisely if you can manage to schedule some long overdue self-care and downtime. 
Even if you are receiving tempting offers on how to invest profitably, bide your time. You may not know all the facts, there might be a catch or a nasty surprise waiting, or an inconvenient coincidence will ruin your investment. Patience is a virtue, and this is particularly true for money transactions. Be careful not to let your dissatisfaction with yourself hurt others or create enemies. Your friends and family have to be very patient with you. If you go too far, your relationships will suffer a great deal. Try to see it from their point of view instead of just your own. A tendency to rush into romance scares off potential candidates for your love. Such a forceful approach can have an adverse effect on the person you desire. If you're not looking for rejection, try to develop a gentler and serene attitude, then those you meet find you to be a far more attractive proposition to date. A moon Pluto square could bring with it some turmoil and conflict in relationships, further encouraging you to spend your time alone today. Anything else will likely lead to arguments and tension. If something comes up that's out of your control, put a pin in the discussion and return to it some other time. Are you in need of money to invest in new projects? Then go ahead with your plans, because circumstances are favorable. Friends who give you advice are being honest with you for the most part. If you want to purchase something, you can do it now. You will make the right choice and won't be misled by sales staff. The evening is likely to be the only redeemable part of the day because it comes with a release of playful lust and desire. You could also feel motivated to take the initiative. You'll have the energy to go out and get what you want, and after today's frustrations, you'll likely welcome the idea of blowing off some steam. In the pre-dawn hours, the Libra moon opposes Chiron in Aries, forcing us to confront our insecurities. Many of us will be asleep at this hour, and reminders of traumatic events can crop up in our dreams. Perhaps we must face an old bully, someone from our past who damaged our confidence. Yet, in waking life or in our dreams, we must now accept that our desire to keep the peace or refusal to ruffle feathers has kept us locked in self-sacrificial patterns. There is a difference between being kind and being nice. A difference between establishing true amity and diminishing ourselves for the appearance of it. Moodier than usual, it's easy to misleadingly convince yourself into blaming others for the way you feel. Instead, direct your energy towards what is troubling you, and resolve these issues without ruining relationships with the people involved on the periphery of your concerns. Consider your demands may be unacceptable to others and cause an unintended reaction. Don't let how you're feeling pass you by, instead voice your romantic wishes, and tell others what you're willing to give and what is expected in return. Go out and make yourself noticed, be courageous. Find the person who is right for you and discover how you might begin to share wonderful times with another. The cosmic weather is then quiet until afternoon, when Vesta, the asteroid of sacred devotion, enters Pisces. Vesta transited this sign from May 24th to August 21st, when it backtracked into Aquarius in retrograde motion. Look back to the end of August for personal reflection. What was transpiring for you regarding your passion projects? Today, our daily rituals offer a chance to deepen our spiritual enterprises and commune with the divine. There is greater meaning to be found in the mundane. The more we devote ourselves to our passions, the more we can transcend our ordinary abilities.